My dear child, how are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing just great, you know, because, because I'm very great after all. Well, that's good to hear. I know you're going through something very painful right now. Well, you don't have to worry about me because I'm very fine and normal and very strong, emotionally speaking, so. You don't have to worry because you can all count on me to be hopeful and happy and normal like everyone needs because uh, I know not everyone can be as great as I am. So I have to help everyone else no matter how hard it is. It is true that not everyone can handle things as well as you have. When I lost my first child, it felt like my entire world had fallen apart. It did not seem fair that everything around me continued after he was gone, or that I continued to live when he could not. It was as though a fog had descended over me. Things that used to bring me joy made me feel nothing. People spoke to me and offered their condolences, but I could not truly hear them. Like I was somewhere else. It felt like I was trapped within myself and I would never find a way out. I could not find happiness or joy that used to come so easily to me. And I could not find the strength to support or help others as I used to do. It felt as though part of me had died with him or, or become broken and I was afraid I would never be myself again. Even when I was surrounded by people who loved me and wanted to help, I felt so very alone. At times, I thought the heartache would kill me. And even when happiness gradually returned to me, I felt guilty, like I was betraying my own grief too quickly. I know you are very strong, Papyrus. Maybe you are not feeling any of these things, and that is fine too. But if you are, my child, I want you to know. <coughs> it's alright. I want him back, Toriel. Why can't he be alive again? I know, I 